Hello, welcome back everybody. Today's gonna be a little different video. Um, I was scrolling through TikTok the other day and I saw this one ad, this one company, and they keep popping up a couple of times and I wasn't gonna make a video on them whatsoever, but um, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> so today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be reviewing these three short videos and I'm gonna be giving you some thoughts, opinions on what they could do better. The ad itself is not bad whatsoever. It's just implementation into TikTok itself. And that's where my problem is. So I was able to see three of these guys' ads and on all of them, I always commented something along the lines of what they did wrong. That's like, I always just said that. And um, you know, it was nothing like rude or anything. I always just commented advice on what they could do to improve. But to be honest with you, these guys shouldn't need this help if they're saying that they, you know they make a lot of money doing marketing. So um, that's why that's why I have a personal problem. That's why I really don't mind you know telling these guys that they did a garbage job because if they're making eight figures doing their marketing business or whatever, they should know the simple things with TikTok. So so sadly, guys, I'm gonna have to tell you guys you did a bad job, but I'm gonna tell you why. So this is the first video, we're gonna watch it together and we're gonna just get a general idea of what's going on here. Hey, business owner looking to scale your business in 2022, or have you tried to already bring your business online and not quite reap the result that you would have liked to achieve? If so, let me and my eight-figure advertising company run your ads completely done for you. No charge, all we ask for is a small commission off the sales that we do generate for your business. Swipe up and see if you qualify. All right, so did you guys catch that? Because maybe if you're not into TikTok, you might not catch it, but most likely, if you have an understanding of most social medias, you're gonna have an idea of what they did horribly wrong here. So the first thing they did wrong is obviously, since I screen recorded this, we were able to see it much more conveniently. But first of all, it's, you know, like the words are, are harder to see, especially on the bottom. Like you could see where it says with ads down there. You can barely say with ads because it's blocked. So clearly they weren't, this wasn't designed for TikTok itself. And I know that this was actually created for Instagram stories because I'll show you why later. Over here, right at the end, see looks all, they have all these nice designs popping up, everything looks good, but you know, it's just blocked by everything. It's just, the, the experience isn't seamless and that's where the problem is because you really wanna focus on creating a good experience. You wanna create an ad that feels organic, that does not feel salesy, but you also want it to feel like a seamless experience. In this case, it's very rough around the edges. This guy has a generally good idea. However, he's he needs to improve a lot. There's a decent hook. Business owner looking to scale. Sure, yes, I'm looking to scale. And, uh, you know, everything looks good and everything, but this the end is what really got to me. We're going to play it again. Or is a small commission off the sales that we do generate for your business. Swipe up and see if you qualify. I don't even know where to begin. It's just, it's it's infuriating to me. It's just disrespectful that these guys think that they can just simply get away with, you know, using Instagram stories, their ads there, and then just putting them onto TikTok. It just doesn't work like that because of this already. If you're on, if you're on, if you're on Instagram and you swipe up or on Snapchat, you're going to bring up, you know, the form that you could fill out or you're going to visit the website. On TikTok, it doesn't work like that. It's only swipe left, right? So if anything, he should have said swipe left, or he could have at least said click on the CTA in the bottom, click on view now in the bottom. But swipe up, you know what swipe up means? You literally leave the video. I get to the end, and then he tells me to leave the video. Okay. And what if what if I go to the next video, and I see something, some type of content that's you know interesting to me, and I want to watch that? I end up watching that video, and then I end up watching next. And I totally forgot about this guy's ad. This guy literally, assuming that he did everything perfectly, which he didn't, he did. He got me all the way to the last 20 seconds of the ad, and then he just fumbled the bag. Call to action. So that's where my problem comes in. And uh, luckily, we have three. We have two more videos like this. Okay, so this is the next video. Uh, the same company, same brand, or whatever, but just a different guy doing the talking here. Are you a business owner struggling to run profitable ads? If so, I want to show you something real quick. Here is one of our clients that we recently onboarded at the end of December. They came into our business with a 2.34 ROAS with the previous agency that they were working with. We were quickly able to scale them up to a 10.28 ROAS using our systems, which are extremely profitable. We were able to 5X their sales literally within three weeks, which is absolutely unheard of. If you're a business owner seeking these type of results, please book a call with our team. We want to help you. We scaled 121 businesses to six and seven figures last year. We want to help your business grow now. 2020 is the best time to run paid ads that are profitable swipe up and see if you qualify 
they did it again. I can't. They did it again. So these guys, you know, they're, they, these guys are clearly multi-millionaires running this agency if they've scaled, you know, 121 businesses to six figures, seven figures and above. But clearly, they, they're, if they're making so much money, they shouldn't be recycling their content from one platform to another. I understand if you're a small company, if you're a small business, recycling, it's not the best. However, it's fine, whatever. You'll get away with it if you're a small business. But... You should always prioritize making content, creative content on TikTok. That's that's literally the main hook. That's what drives people to come to your website. And or it's just it just ups, it really upsets me just just watching this. So hook gear is fine. You know, business owner. It's always about the business owner. And then he talks about you know struggling with ads. You know, and then he shows us for ten seconds his blurry phone. <laughs> Which could be Photoshop, like, like there's literally no proof right here that this is from Facebook because you could clearly see, first of all, it's blurry, so you can't even see the numbers. I can clearly see the two, two, six, and then probably like ten or something, but I don't know, I don't know what it even means up here. But the, but the, the interesting thing here is, is, <laughs> it looks like it's like cut out. It's like a screenshot, and and it's just super weird. So I, I just don't trust it because it's not like seamless within the tick, within the Facebook ads platform, but whatever, I'm, I'm getting a little too, too into it. But you know, he, they did the same mistake again where it's hard to read what they say. Here it's a little easier because you don't see the CTA, but that's because they took the, that, that's because they took the ad down. It's not getting promoted anymore, but I saved it. They didn't delete the ad itself. I, I saved it. So, so you could clearly see that it's profitable is blocked. Obviously you could still read it, but it just hurts the experience. The sales job is, is, is decent, I guess. But this this part, the blurry, he literally shows us his phone and it's just, ah, oh, it's just painful. Like how, how did this, when the guys were editing it, how were they like, oh yes, this is good. Oh, now we can see the numbers. So the ROAS here was 10, 4.3, but you don't even see like the, the whole, like the whole thing with the, all the numbers because there could be a chance that they literally just got one sale doing this one one time and then over here in the 2.34 is where they got the bulk of the sales so it's just whatever but anyways at the end they made the exact same mistake swipe up so this was an instagram story at or snapchat but most likely instagram story so i don't have anything against these guys i think they're they're pretty smart they're clearly savvy with what they do however it's just making the creative content on, on tiktok is so incredibly important and people clearly here just they just don't care. So adds that to scale.io. You guys are great guys. I'm sure you guys are. I'm sure you guys do a really good job. However, you guys got to fix these ads because this was painful for me to watch. And, you know, I commented. <laughs> I commented twice. Well, three times, but, you know, one of their videos was deleted. You see right here, I said, before you delete this comment, if you say swipe up on TikTok, we literally swipe off the video. There you go. See? And then uh, here's another comment from me. Guys, I can't keep review. This is this is when I saw the third ad. So I was pretty fed up with this. And I literally told these guys, I'm like, these are painful to watch. So just really quickly, I also wanted to give you guys a an idea of like a really good advertisement. Well, in my opinion, but chances are that this is a really good ad. I'm sure the creative here did very well. And we're gonna watch it and you're gonna see why it's just a good ad. Well, TikTok ad. It doesn't look like an ad. You're never, you never gonna tell that it even is an ad. But the whole thing here is the whole ideology of this advertisement was that you can clearly see this is not a stock Tesla. You don't buy a Tesla that looks like this. They clearly have some type of upgrades on the front. Um, so if someone is watching this and they're interested to watch the video and then they'll say, hmm, I wonder what that was. And obviously in the description, it said something, but I, I forgot what it said, but you can click on it and it'll take you to the website where you could view that specific product. So the product sells itself. There is no one telling you, no one's selling you anything. It doesn't feel like an advertisement. It feels organic. It feels like, and I, I'm personally, my, my whole feed, my TikTok feed is a lot of snowboarding, business related stuff, car stuff. That's just what I love. So that's why I get ads like this. And this ad, you know, it just, it feels like a Tesla car edit, you know, a normal car edit on TikTok. And it just fits 
within a niche and they, they did a really good job here. It's just that easy. You just have to make a video that just doesn't feel like an ad. You have to show off your product without ever, without someone feeling like they're being sold to. And that's the difference between TikTok and Facebook. And honestly, this is going to be the future of advertising. People don't want to be sold to. 20 years ago, uh, stockbrokers would call you up and they would sell you directly. 10 years ago, that would barely happen. And now if someone, if someone calls you on the phone, you're going to hang up. You're not going to pick up whatsoever. Just impossible. It's, it, the advertising game is changing completely and the future is hiding your advertisements to look organic. This is just how the future of advertising is going to look. That's why Facebook ads are slowly dying. You cannot tell me that they're not dying because they are. Uh, TikTok is the future. Uh, cryptocurrency, NFTs, like I'm sorry, but these platforms, is it's going to move on to the future with you or without you, whether you like it or not. You can't change anything, so you can't change any of that, so you have to move along with it or else, you know, you're gonna be out of business. Just normal evolution type stuff. So, Unplugged Performance, you guys knocked it out of the park. Pretty dope, and obviously you could see it's 15 seconds long. That's like, a, I always preach, I always say that 15 seconds long. Uh, TikTok ads are the best way. Um, you know, they're short, simple, keeps your audience retention at an all time high. So, and it's e much easier to do so because if you're making a video that's a minute long or, you know, 15 seconds long, it's going to be much easier to keep someone's attention for the full 15 seconds than for the full one minute. And it's really important because at the end is when they get that CTA to pop up to click onto your website if they haven't already. So there you go.